This is L.A. Reed. He's in the Red Velvet Cake Studios. Welcome to the cake. Oh, it is so sexy here. Oh, my God. Thank you for having me, Tony. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You like it, huh? I love it. I see how you spend so much time doing this. I get it. I get it. I get it. You can get up early for this, huh? Get, yes. Thank you. Thank it's you. beautiful. Yeah, and play, and, and play hits that you make. Oh, man. Listen to this one. <laughs> That's how it all started right there, right? That's the beginning. Yeah. That's the beginning. The deal. Yeah, the deal. What this, year? You know what's funny? This was the deal's third album. That was? Yes, the third album. Yeah. Oh, the other two weren't were, were No, the album. first one, we had a song called Body Talk. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right? yeah. And it was, that was Body our first Talk. One. Talk, talk your body there we go. Body and yeah, me. That was the first well, one. it was sung better than that. <laughs> that's close. <laughs> that was. That's no, how it's it was, not close. That's it's how it was sound when it was. That's how it sounded when it was written. <laughs> I wrote it, and that's how I sing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That's how you sing? You were not. You were in a singing group. Yeah, but I, I could write for them, but I couldn't sing. You know, I was the drummer. Oh, that's you were yeah. the drummer. Yes, I'm still the drummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, but Babyface and uh, what's Babyface right? and and the other members were D Bristol, um, Ko and and Carlos Green uh -huh. and Stick. Those are the other guys. They all sang. I was the only one that didn't. How about that? Did you mouth the words? Were you one of those as you were drumming? Did you mouth it instead of? No, no, I was concentrated on that beat. You were that bad. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even give me a mic. <laughs> Don't they even wouldn't even mouth the word. They wouldn't even put the mic close to me just in case. <laughs> no. Keep the beat, boy. Keep the beat. What year was that? That was 1983. Okay. We start in 1983. Yes. And we'll move forward from there. He's got a book, his memoir. Sing to me my story of making music, finding magic, and searching for who's next. And I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad you're here, you're here too, man. Yeah. Really happy. Yeah. To be here. I haven't seen you in a long, long, yeah. long, long time. Yeah. So fact, tell me this. Tell me, do you know a number, a number for the hits that you've written or mm. responsible for? No, I really don't. You don't have a number? No, I don't. That's, uh, that's one thing I'll do <laughs> later. You don't. You don't do that in the book. You don't. You don't talk about. I don't really about... count. I don't really count. I do. I talk about. Some of the songs I talk about, some of the experiences that happened with the artist at that time, like uh -huh. some of the significant ones that really meant something, meant a lot to me. But I never count it, though. If you were to count, how many hits do you think you are responsible yes. for that I play that I play every day? The only number I've ever known was before we started LaFace Records, we had 33 number one records. Before we started LaFace, we started LaFace in uh, 1989. So somewhere between 83 and 89, we had about 33. And I only know that from a press release, you know. Uh, but otherwise, I haven't, I haven't kept up with it. And LaFace? Um, LaFace was formed when? 1989 till um, 2000. And that was you I and Babyface? It. Yes. And how did that, how did that all come together? Uh, that was great. We, we, um, we were producers first, and we were doing people like The Whispers and... Um, and Shalimar, all the solar acts mm -hmm. um, in LA, and after we and and Babyface and the Deal and and Bobby Brown, Pebbles, Johnny Gill, we did a lot of records then, and then we decided to start the label and we moved to Atlanta, and we picked Atlanta because we thought it was fertile to create what we thought would be the Motown of the South, mm -hmm. right? And and so we put our flag in the ground and we went to work. And that's when we started signing talent, which was very different than just producing talent. You know, but you have an amazing gift, and you talk about this and your instinct for finding talent, for picking it. When these people come into your office, I mean, uh, and, and the title of the song, Sing to Me, to, you know, yes. show me who you are. And they do it, and you just go for, you, you, you hear it immediately, don't you, almost? Well, it's where I get my excitement. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the idea of discovery. I mean, it's fun to work, it's fun to work on established artists, but my true joy is to find somebody yeah. that the world has never known and turn it into something, turn it into a, a, an artist and a name and a brand that will last. You know, that's my real joy. Your passion and what, comes and, through and, 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 and what do you think, and what do you think was your your greatest achievement for finding somebody and turning them into a star? I don't know. That one I really don't know. Um, 
sometimes I say babyface, right? Uh huh. I mean, you know, because he was he was the first artist that I I zeroed in on that. He was my partner, so people don't think of it as a discovery. As right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> but it was, yeah. right. Oh, wow. We'll, 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 we'll talk more about that. Let's go to another yeah. break. It's a lot of music to talk about. <laughs> a lot of music and a lot of music history. And yeah, if you're man. just going to be single this weekend, want something to do, this is a great book. Don't ask me how I know this, but this is a great book. <laughs> if, you're lo- if you're lonely? If you're around just doing nothing on the weekend. <laughs> got to be there at the top. You got three minutes to make it there on time. time. 